Hello everybody. Hope you guys are all having a great day or a great evening. It's actually pretty late right now where I am at. Um, I finished this book about a week ago and I thought I'd give you guys like a little review. So the book is called Witchery. It's by Juliet Diaz. Embrace the Witch Within. I bought this book off of Amazon. I paid $13 for it. Um, it says $17 in the U.S. and $22.99 in Canada. Um, but I paid $13 on Amazon. So on the back right here it says, Being a witch isn't about hocus pocus. It isn't about how you dress, how you decorate your altar, or what you post on social media. It's an embodiment of your truth, the answer to the questions from deep within your soul. There is work to be done, a call to be answered. The earth, our mother, needs us. It's time to rise. It's time to embrace the witch within. Um, I really liked that little bit right there. And you know what? I really like books that have this. I don't know what this is called. They have this little foldy thing. But it's like a bookmark built in, you know. So I like when that's there. So this book has that. Um, it says in this book, Third Generation, which Juliet Diaz guides you on a journey to connect with the magic within you. She explains how to cast off what doesn't serve you, unleash your authentic self, and become an embodiment of your truth. You'll also learn the skills and techniques you need to build your own magical craft. Um, so it's kind of like a beginner's witchcraft book, but uh, also not because it just has, you know, it has good spells and things in there. So this book is not um, based in any spe specific tradition of witchcraft, so it's just witchcraft in general, it's not like specifically for Wiccans or anything like that, um, so I like that. Let's see, where is, okay, so I'm just going to read to you guys what is in the table of contents, or read to you guys the table of contents, what's in the book, sorry it's late and I think I'm getting a little sleepy. Um, part one is root work, not like root magic, but root work for like your, um, like inner work. So you have what is magic, the power of magical attitude, question and answer from your witches, unleash your power and the art of self-love. Part two is the craft unveiled, beginning your magical practice, meditation, grounding, Raising energy, manifestation, amplifying your inner sense, the moon and the witch, the seasons of the witch. Part three is practical magic, connecting with your inner witch. A book of shadows and a grimoire, creating an altar, harnessing ancestral wisdom, cleansing and protecting. Part four is the witch's garden and herbal magic, introducing the witch's garden, attracting love, healing a broken heart, protection, success, wealth and abundance, light, healing, purification, New beginning, psychic enchantment, manifestation, creating your own spells, and why aren't my spells working? Part 5 is practice responsibility, 10 ways to heal the earth, and integrity in witchery. So, these are like all the spells um, that are in here. Uh, so, you know, it has, it has quite a range of topics. Um, it's not a super thick book, so there's not like a whole lot in it. It's not, like, super fluffy or anything. Like, she has good information in it. Um, but there are some basic 101. There's nothing too in-depth. It's a fairly quick read. It's a pretty light read. Um, I did enjoy it, though. And I do like the author's approach to spells because she doesn't um, use, like, a lot of words in her spells. Um... You know how a lot of spells are like little rhymes. Uh, she doesn't do that. She just uses, she just raises her energy and uses her intention um, with whatever like manipulatives she's using. So candles and herbs and oils and such, which is similar to how I work my magic. Um, I do use words in some things, but a lot of the time it's just in the form of ritual. And I just work the magic, work the energy. Um, without the use of words, I use intention through 
my feelings more so than my words. And that's kind of how she explains it in here too. I hope that made sense. Um, so I really like that. So there was, I'll just show you guys some, I thought she had a list in here. I feel like there's a list in here about, what am I trying to say? Um, like all the general herbs that you'll need, but maybe that was a different book. <laughs> Tobacco, banishing illness, incense. There's nothing like hard to find in here. They're all they're all pretty common herbs and um, oils and such. Like this one has a lot of essential oils. So yeah, she just kind of goes through, is you know, a bunch of spells. Um, where is here's the little section on the seasons of the witch like i said it's nothing super in depth it's just like a basic understanding um but she does a good job you know she breaks it down so it's nice and simple and she has all the correspondences and stuff listed i mean i guess i shouldn't say all of them because there are a lot more than what she has listed but she has some main ones in there um a little bit on crystal grids, you know, visualization, raising air energy, raising earth energy, and then she has water and fire, um, and what those energies are good for, she tells you how to raise a cloud of power, um, she talks about manifestation, grounding, meditations, you know, it's just your average, I guess it's just your average Witchcraft 101 book, but I do like the way that she approaches it. I like the way that this author speaks. Um, yeah. She comes from a line of witches, I think it said. So yeah, I'm not sure what else to tell you guys about it. I do like that she talks about how to heal the earth, because that is very important. Um, and also integrity in witchery, which some of these I don't really agree with, but you know, you know, you take what resonates and then you leave what doesn't, so that's fine. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should tell you guys about this book. It's not bad. Oh, she talks about like a grimoire and a book of shadows and how she um, uses what she calls a witch's journal, which is like a mashup between the two, which is kind of well, I, I should, I was going to say that's kind of what I do because I do have a couple books that I do that in, but I also have them, I also have separate books for a lot of things too. Okay, I think I need to go to bed now <laughs> because <laughs> this video is getting difficult. <laughs> oh, I'm too tired. Thanks for watching. That probably wasn't super helpful, but there's a little bit of a flip flu in review of Witchery. Talk to you later. Bye.